Hello there. In this question we're told that Donna is arranging a loan and is examining two different repayment options. Bank A will charge him a monthly interest rate of 0.35%. Fine, correct at three significant figures the annual percentage rate that is equivalent to a monthly interest rate of 0.35. Okay, well, we need to go to our financial math section in the book of tables because I'm going to need a future value formula for this. So financial mathematics is on page 30 and the future value formula I need is F equal to P times 1 plus I to the power of T because what we need to do is imagine we had 1 euro invested for 12 months at 0.35% per month that would actually be well we need to find out what would that be equal to at the end of a year so um, we have F is equal to 1 times 1 plus 0.35 as a decimal would be 0 0.0035 and if that was invested for 12 months what would we actually have? So that would be 1 times 1 1.0035 to the power of 12 and let's just punch that into the calculator and we get so it's equal to 1.042818 well that's what 1 euros would amount to so if we subtracted 1 from that we'll just get the interest so f minus 1 is equal to 0.042818 now to three significant figures that is 0.0428 we can drop the 18 off so that is um, 4.28% APR and that's how you would find that Now bank B will charge him a rate that is equivalent to an APR of 4.5%. Find correct to three significant figures the monthly interest rate that is equivalent to an APR of 4.5%. Okay, well very similar, we'll use the future value formula. And again we'll imagine that one euro is invested at some interest rate for 12 months. Now this future value we know what it would be because the APR is equivalent to 4.5. So one euro would, would be 1.045 after a year. So here's my equation, and I need to solve that for i to get the monthly interest rate. So divide across by 1, and uh, we get 1.045 is equal to 1 plus i to the power of 12. Get both sides to the power of 1 twelfth, and we will have 1 plus i. Okay, and we get that 1.0036748 is 1 plus i so just subtract 1 from it and we get 0 0.0036748 and we want that again to three significant figures so let's just lop off the uh, 4809 and it'll round down because 4 is less than 5 so we have our value of i as a decimal so let's just write that as a percentage and it would be 0.367%. Donna borrowed 80,000 at a monthly rate of 0.35%, fixed for the term of the loan, from Bank A. The loan is to be repaid in equal monthly repayments over 10 years. The first repayment is due one month after the loan is issued. Calculate, correct to the nearest euro, the amount of each monthly repayment. Well, if you're looking for equal repayments, the best formula to use is your amortization formula. It's on page 31 of your tables, and it says that A, the annual repayment amount, or in this case, monthly repayment amount, is equal to P, which is the amount you borrow, times I, your rate, in this case a monthly rate, times 1 plus I to the T, all over 1 plus I to the T, minus 1, so in this case, P is 80,000. That's the amount we borrow. I is the interest rate. I'll write that as a decimal, so 0 0.0035. And T is the number of months. So it's for 10 years, 10 twelves is 120. So I can put all that into the calculator as follows. So it's 80,000 times 0 0.0035 
times 1.0035 to the power of 120 all over 1.0035 to the power of 120 take away 1 and what do we get? we get 817.587 and we were asked to calculate that correct to the nearest euro so A is going to be in euros 818 and that's our final answer that is the equal monthly repayment so that completes this video thanks for watching hope it was of some benefit bye for now